boy DJ Mo Life. Y'all now tuning in. So Gator TV. <laughs> Everybody, this is the kid, your favorite kid, Pooh Gator. You're now back. Thank you for tuning in. This is official So Gator TV business. I'm gonna say, on um, Boss Love, Boss Talk with the Boss, because you look like a boss DJ Mo Life. It's also a side of music behind a DJ. You know what I'm saying? I like that. So, <laughs> talk to me about DJ Mo Life. Introduce yourself to these people well, for some who, who don't know you. Mo Life came from a long way because at first it was my penny. Mohini? Yeah. Okay. That was, that was a rough stage. Okay. So, the whole life is the excitement of the DJ side that most people don't know about. Okay. Yeah. So, I can automatically sense like kind of like an evolution. Yeah. Just in from Mohini, seem like to more life, like, you know what I'm saying, maturity. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like to change something so drastic because Mohini was the name for you to change it and want to rebrand had to be important. Yeah, always. Definitely. This is like more life is more like a positive. Bring more positive vibe, but the Mohini was like the drunk side, the aggressive, savage right, side right. that most people don't really understand and right. what's going on behind the scenes and shit. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, what made you want to be a DJ and who inspired you to do it? I'm oh, Godfather. Okay. Yeah, okay. He been DJ. Shout out to the Godfather. Yeah, he he is old too. So <laughs> he been DJ like ever since he was like probably like ten, maybe younger than that. Damn, so okay. he been DJ in Haiti, like. First day when I used to go to the script, put his headphones on, just listen to music and all that. Yeah. So I was like, damn, but I love music. Yeah. And then I started, when I came to Miami, I started listening to 99 Jams and then mm. Tice was on there. I'm like, damn, man, I'm loving this shit. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> That's okay. what inspired me even more. So yeah. I'm like, okay, I can do it. Yeah. So whatever God put me in this earth to be use my two hands, so I'm going to use this shit to the fullest. Right. Yeah. Right. Anything I put my hand on, I'm going to make a. Make Turn to go, yeah. like the mighty touch. Exactly. <laughs> I, I like that. I like that. Okay. So um, you said why you became a DJ. You said who inspired you. Yeah. So what's the hardest thing about being a DJ in your opinion? The hardest thing. Shit. And, and, and do you have to be a lover of music to be a DJ? Not really. You just really gotta study the music. Okay. And, you know, like I be telling me all the time, you learn the music, learn the music. So I be learning the music. The need, like you know, chop it up a right. little by little, so I can actually know when to cut it off, when to bring it in. Okay. Not, okay. not like let the crowd go away from the scene and shit. Right. Got to keep crowd. Got to keep crowd. Okay. Um. So, like, that's one of the hardest things in your opinion. Well, I mean, my hardest right now is basically keeping the crowd on the dance floor, like okay. throughout. The, during the set, during my set, right. actually. Right. I don't know how many DJs gonna be coming on after me, but during my set, you gotta remember. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely. Me? Especially if it's some DJs coming after your set. Exactly. You know, like, well, ain't nobody do it. Like, what his name was, DJ more like He brought that shit. Yeah. And that's real. At the end of the day, the DJ's job is literally crowd control. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta control the crowd. So, that's real. And I heard a lot of people say that they were ready to leave a club because mm -hmm. the DJ ain't spending rush. So, Alright. So what do you hope to accomplish in the next two years? Start my own business and then okay. keep pushing my career in the DJ life. Okay. Because you know, like we got, I got two brands. I got BBV called Big Boy Vibes. Okay. And then I got another one called Wage. We all gonna eat. Okay. Wage. So, we all gonna eat. Okay, yeah. I like that. Like <laughs> Maybe so most people don't. I haven't pushed it out as much as I'm supposed to, but during the struggle times, it's hard right, right now. Right. So, right. But like we got clothing line coming, we got other Florida businesses that's gonna combine with us. Okay. As we gonna push, we gonna push each other, basically okay. in the black community. Right. I like that. We need more of that, most definitely. Um. So like that's like a two-year plan of more businesses, and then the, the businesses that you already got, BBB yeah. and Wage, kind of just solidify those more, push those more to the front. Like yeah. so, whatever connected to those, whatever branch out of those, they know. Yeah. It's from the same product. Exactly. Okay, I like that. I like that. You gotta be, you know what I'm saying? Like thinking ahead of time. A lot of people, it's hard for them to think two months down the road, let alone two years. Yeah. But you gotta have some type of plan in place. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta, you gotta know a goal, the, the goals you wanna reach. Cause you may reach a goal in two months. What you gonna do after that? You exactly. know what I'm saying? Yeah. You gotta have a two month goal, a, you know, just six month goal, yeah. year goal. So. It's hard. I mean, it's hard doing like blueprints and all behind right. the scene. Like most people don't understand 
it takes time and patience to yeah. really like put your mind into a business that you want to push yourself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Some people say, oh, I want to push a business and actually don't push it. Right. How they're supposed to. Right. They just start and then stop like right there. Right. I mean, because if you don't support your brand, how, how do you expect me to support your brand? You know exactly. what I'm saying? Like you're not even standing behind your brand. Yeah. How do you expect somebody to want to buy it, be a part of it, whatever? Now that's real. That's true. All right. So, with you saying that, I'm going to just jump to this question. How important is networking and, and branding? Very important. Because you can be just a regular face out here without you. Yeah, because even though I might not be on the turntable, I'm always networking like day to day, day to day, meeting new people, trying to see what I could do and help you out, push right. other people out. Like if, if I push you enough so you can put yourself out there. If you don't do it, then that's it. Right. I'm not going to keep trying to help you out. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's no, real. So, that got to be two way street. Yeah. Always. Yeah. But at the end of the day, for me to build myself, mm -hmm. I got to put more of my work out there. Okay. Because if I'm putting all my work on my page and clean my page up and all that, most people ain't going to understand, oh, right. this man ain't no DJ. He was just playing around. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? That's so the more, video I, the more video I put out there, the more people see it and they're like, oh, okay. I respect it. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. People got to have visuals. A lot of people visual learners. Ain't that right, kids? <laughs> Hey, it's okay, you know, <laughs> some of us learn best that way. Alright, so what would you like to see happen on the Miami music scene? Everybody. Since, since you're from Miami, you kind of got that first taste of 99 Jams, DJ and Tice, you know what I'm saying, what we are now, what would you like to see happen? Everybody coming together, working together, like, actually building Miami how it's supposed to be. Right. The Miami, I feel like Miami lose interest fast. The, like, they're ready to put some music out, but... It's not helping their partners, it's just basically helping themselves out. Right. You know what I mean? So right. it's like... Everybody got ulterior motives or something. When they is helping you, you feel like they help you for a reason to push their stuff out to help yourself. Yeah. You feel like it should be just like, you know what I'm saying? Like nothing looking in return. Everybody just putting, putting into, you know what I'm saying? Like this pot to help contribute to, to make it happen. Like yeah. you say, everybody coming together. Oh, it's harder than it sounds, but it shouldn't be as, as hard as it sounds. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. 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 So I mean, they make it harder. They make it harder because... It's always some um, hate stuff in Miami. That's right. a problem. They like, they don't want, they want to outshine the other nigga. But like, right. you help one, you teach one type shit. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Most people don't understand. You never know. He got, he got outgrow you no matter what. End of the day, but come together, you right. know, teach him something. Right. His knowledge. Right. You feel me? Stuff like that lasts long. Yeah. That's real. It's I like key, it. It's the key. You know. <laughs> I like that. So, what's your vibe? in the club like if, if they was to come to the club and dj mo life was on set like what would be the vibe is it like a, you know what i'm saying like a turn vibe like a fans vibe a ladies vibe what's the vibe well it'd be all of it because well i mean yeah. i've been learning my reggae tones and you know all that but i learned a little reggae hip-hop but mm -hmm. i'm more a hip-hop okay type of dj so okay the more i learn like go i go from old school and then bring it to a new school okay feel me okay but it just me, I like to learn a lot, so it's just, once I learn, all right, let me learn the culture, like right. Nigerian, you know, all that, so it'll be better for me. Okay, I could hop from this club to that club with no problem. Right. So it'll be easier for me to learn more, and then be like, oh, people like, damn, this man really know what he's doing, it's like. Right, right. Yeah. So it really just depends on, like, the crowd, because at the end of the day, this crowd may, like, Hip hop, this crowd may like more reggaeton. You gotta kind of feel that out, right? Like yeah. as a DJ, you gotta know, like okay, yeah, they like this music. I gotta play more of that type of type. Yeah, of okay, it's just. Well, I could bring it in between, cause you know how they got reggaeton with a little hip hop into it. Yeah, so yeah, I could yeah. like start instead of going on one side, just keep right. it in the middle. Right. So everybody could dance and then like put a little reggae or you know old school right. hip hop to it. Okay. I'm learning y'all. Y'all might see me out there turning tables. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you never see me out there turning tables. Alright, so um, anything else you want to tell them? Want them to know anything you feel like, you know, they need to be prepared for or they need to look out for? I mean, I'm going to be the next DJ alive, man. I'm okay. Gonna be, I'm going to be out there. Okay. So you feel like... <laughs> next up? Yeah, next up. Okay. Okay, so so one other question I, I got is like, um, you know, I see you working with DJ Nuggethead a little bit. Yeah. Like, you know, have you, have you actually learned anything? I learned a lot. Okay. <laughs> just like you did, okay. Yeah, I learned a lot from him. Okay. Like, he been teaching me a lot, like, because what I used to do, mm -hmm. I used to just, like, come in hot and then just bring it down fast. Um, so now he told me, like, I hate that. Like, I hate that. I hate that. Bring it up and then bring it down. Yeah. yeah so. Because what happened, I'm, used to, I'm so used to 
listen to Nine Nine Jams and all like yeah, oh, yeah, you yeah. feel me? Yeah. So all they do is just bring hits, 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 hits. Yeah. But I didn't understand the music behind it, how you supposed to like like an elevator. Right. You gotta go up slow and then come back down. Right. Slow. You feel me? So I like most that. most people don't really know that, but now nah, since I've been learning from he been teaching me a lot, like yeah, yeah. Okay, and I think that's what it's about. At the end of the day, you know, a real DJ able to help another DJ become a better DJ. Yeah, that's what it's all about. So that's part of that each one teach one thing. Everybody just coming together, helping each other. If it was more of that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like in, in every little pocket, in this pocket, in that pocket, the DJ, the promoters, the artists. I think it'd be a uh, way better. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to just the relationship y'all got yeah. to. Get my name to the next level. Well, I appreciate DJ Knucklehead. You feel me? Shout out to him. Follow What's him on sure? Instagram. Knucklehead underscore 305. Hey, snap to that. So, last question. How can they find you on social media? Well, my Instagram page is DJ underscore Mo Life. Okay. You feel me? That's life. L I L E? No, L is DJ Mo. Uh -huh. DJ underscore M O E L Y F E. You feel me? Mo Life. And okay. without the I. Okay. Okay, you know my lap, my name got a Y in it, so I ain't put no I. Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> I like that. So it's a perfect for it. Yeah. Music for everything. Always. <laughs> so, so I want y'all to know, man, look out, be on the, uh, you know, look out for him. He on the rise. You saw it first right here, DJ Mo Life. Trust me, after you hear his name, you're not going to be not hearing it ever again after that. Pretty sure of that. So, like I said, man, shout out to all the other DJs already on the scene doing their thing, put Miami on the map. We appreciate y'all. Um, but until then, We'll be back with another one. That's something you want to tell them? Nah, I got nothing to tell them. Just stay tuned because you okay. know, you're going to hear me on the street soon. Okay. <laughs> That's it, man. He coming real soon. And once he comes, you're not going to be able to not hear him nowhere. So, appreciate y'all for tuning in. We'll see y'all next time. It's so Gator TV. Be out. <laughs> Don't give up. Don't give up.